Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Why is there an eight? What? Okay, so I have never seen anything about this game. Silas says Chase, nothing. Chase has just been like, hey, I have one request for the thing. And I was like, okay. And he's like, play Doki Doki. I was like, I'm playing? He's like, well, I have played and beaten this game. <laughs> Silas has not. So, so give him the rundown of what's going on. Oh, by the way, uh, welcome back to What the Duck Gaming. Okay, now give him the rundown of what's going on. Like, oh, how we're playing this, this game. game. Oh, it's a visual novel, so we're going to be doing a lot of reading. Okay, so... So you can be your own character, and we'll we'll divvy out the characters. There's only... So I'm making all the choices, then? Yeah, you, you'll, this will be your adventure. Okay, so basically Chase is just inputting everything for me. Yes, essentially. Okay! Yeah, and there was a... There was a warning. A disclaimer, say, a disclaimer saying that it was not suitable for young children, and if you suffer from depression, this may not be the game for you. Except your name. Am I a man? Silas. Or is it, am I going to be a girl? You're whoever they want you to be. I'm, I don't have a face. Who's, is that me? This will be me. Okay. Hey! This is you. This is your inner monologue. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. I'm gonna not do that. That girl is Sayori, That's my me. neighbor and good friend since we were children. That's me. You're Sayori? Yeah, I'm Sayori. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. I'm really bad at reading aloud. Oh god, there's so much more. It's a visual novel. <laughs> we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. <laughs> but if she's going to- I forgot to start a timer. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Oh wow. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let's And let Siori catch okay. up to me. Ha ah! That's my voice. I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. I'm gonna fall in love with you. Eh, you said that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Silas. Well, if people star stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Silas, oh God. have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. Oh god, I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Sounds like you. Yeah. Yeah? Actually, not so much anime, not. by the way. Uh-huh! Oh, God. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. <laughs> Fuck off, Sayori. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. <laughs> And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Fuck off. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. <laughs> alright, alright! God damn it. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, no. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. <gasps> the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. This is a really good picture. 
Those like papers just kind of look like blotches. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. Did you just whisper clubs to yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Oh, it's me. Hello! <laughs> Why? Stop. Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was facing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Oh, weirdo. I thought I'd catch That's you me. I thought I'd catch you coming, coming out, out of the classroom! But I saw you just sitting and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. <laughs> you don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah? <laughs> there is no way I'm going to your club! This is like turning out to be a sitcom. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Damn right I am. Not that I was ever aware that she had an interest in literature. <laughs> um, in fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. Awesome. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Literature is great. Shut up. Yeah. I'm going to the anime club. He's going to the anime club! I'm going to the anime club. Come on. Please? You ready for me to destroy this pop filter? Why do you care so much anyway? Now I gotta buy it. Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. You're a dick. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Eehee! <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. You said that. <laughs> I let out a long sigh. <gasps> I was gonna say that's a gas, but yeah. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay? Yes. Let's go. Do I have to fall in love with... Oh, God. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I do that on the daily. I did... What? <laughs> <laughs> I did... Dejectedly follow Sayori across the room and upstairs. That's a the... section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used to... For, but for, the, for third year classes and activities. This is going to be a great series. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Hoopla! Hoopla. <laughs> Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance, I glance around the room. room. Shut up, this is mine. Okay, Girl, you... hold on. Can I be Girl 1? Yeah. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. I'm going to fall in love with her. Sayori always, say, Sayori always says nice things about you. I guess that's me. Yeah. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, I guess this one has to be me. Ah, Silas! What a nice surprise! I don't know why We're she We're gonna get up. so fucking, <laughs> fucking confused. <laughs> Welcome to the club! Why did you say that? To escape me in this situation. I can't believe I sat there and waited for you to say dot dot dot. Alright. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Oh my god. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S -s -s Sorry? Natsuki! The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Oh yeah. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Incredibly inappropriate. Yeah. What are you, 12? Uh, that's me. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, oh, then I guess turns I... back toward the other girls. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says it quietly. 
Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. This is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Damn right I'm the smartest. D don't say things like that! Oh, how timid. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. We're talking about our boobs. Ugh. I'm gonna get into those boobs. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right! <laughs> it's great to see you again, Silas. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll go after her, she's bending over. Monica smiles sweetly. Okay, is this a game where I get to fuck people? I don't I don't understand. We do it. know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. I don't like the Monica's probably the most popular girl in class. Smart. Beautiful. I don't like the rubbing. <laughs> this is punishment. <laughs> Basically completely out of my league. I need more alcohol for this. Hold on. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Come, sit down, Silas. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. Oh god. I'll get the cupcakes! This is the first big decision, isn't it? Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? She's like the sexy teacher. Yeah, she is. The girls have a few desks arranged oh, to form Yuri. a circle. The table. Table. <laughs> <laughs> you know, table, circle. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is oh. one space next to Monica and one <laughs> space next to Sayori. My asshole's been widened. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to- Why do I get to make no decisions? Well, you do, eventually. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ta oh, my voice. What? Oh, I destroyed the mic and my voice. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen <laughs> white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh, that's so cute. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate oh, were used to make ears. It's so oh, beautiful that's adorable. innocent. That's so cute. <laughs> I had no idea where you <laughs> where were. Where you were bitch. so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sarah grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sorry, it talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Oh, this is perfect. I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking at for the best anger to the bank a bite! Best Natsuki angel. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaky glances in my direction. Oh god, it was just like me at the thrift store. <laughs> She's waiting for Chase to take a bite! Oh god, I was just buying clothes! <laughs> <laughs> he finally bites down! The icing is sweet and full of flavor. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thinking me? It's not like I. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? You made them for you or anything. Oh god. Eh? I thought you were tech you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. Oh god. But not for y you know, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki weird logic and dismiss the Natsuki weird logic! Natsuki! <laughs> Yuri, <laughs> Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Silent. Oh, that's me. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Are you Yuri? Yeah, you are. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? <laughs> uh, I, I guess. So is your boobs. Boobs! Oh, you're Monica too, I think. Oh, shit! <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. With her boobs. Eh? The, why do we always so For <laughs> gay? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not insulted Yuri looks away I meant that you know I like how the hair goes perfectly down the middle of her boobs I believe you I like that girl's boobs 
Oh god, could I say that I'm engaged? <laughs> well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least it, uh, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. They all fall in love with you, me, don't they? I fall in love with myself. I love me. <laughs> I choose me. <laughs> so what made you consider literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. What a dick. Yeah. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... Now you're lying. That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. You stupid bitch. Well, make sure you feel right at home. We'll... Okay. <laughs> As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. We can read books uh. and spank each other. Stick your dick in me. <laughs> Monica, <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> I like where this game is headed. <laughs> How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Corporations. Corporations. <laughs> Weren't you leader of the debate corporation last year? Oh, I, like, I like this pose. Well, you know. It's like a perfect like 45 degree angle. Yeah, right for railing her. I said it right. Oh, sorry, I'm just laughing. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing. But... I don't the think budget and police. I don't think the mic can hear you. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget, publicity, and how to prepare for events. I feel you, Monica. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And it encourages others to get into literature. Then I'm fulfilling my dream. That dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then, I guess I'm I surprised that. there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Not really. You just say, hey, I'm going to start a new club. You could put it that way. Oh, okay, cool. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new could have stopped like it a putting baby. out S stop it putting out monica please <laughs> <laughs> especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature unlike my boobs you have to make hard oh god you have to make hard you have to work hard wow maybe i'm dyslexic maybe you, you have to work hard getting to too horny people. to read <laughs> yeah, i'm a little bit i'm a little i got a little chub uh, not really good you could feel me to make sure I'm not gonna. You keep keep going though. Where was that? People that Who okay. Cares? <laughs> but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Oh boy. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. Well, we'll do our best. Well, you know it. No, it's everyone just enthusiastically voice. agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. All vulnerable. Monica must have worked really hard to find these Maybe three. not the first one. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Oh, we'll see. What kind of literature? So, Silas, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Does that sound accurate? Yeah. <laughs> manga? I muttered, oh, manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki head suddenly perks up. <laughs> wow. There's no dialogue. It looks myself. like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Oh, well. N not much of a reader, I guess. Wow. I'm gonna fall in love with her. I'm gonna clone her. Well, that can change. Oh, I'm already starting. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile and her boobs. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup anus with her finger. <laughs> My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Yeah, she really traced that rim job. All right. <laughs> the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind the blowjob is amazing to me. 
and telling a good story about fucking in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Oh yeah. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. About sex. Yuri's my favorite. Is she? She's my favorite. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light enough that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. What a weirdo. But you know, I like lots of things, like your dick. Stories <laughs> with deep <laughs> psychological elements of penis usually immerse me as well. Oh yeah? Isn't that amazing how a bitch writer can... <laughs> <laughs> just a bitch writer. <laughs> ...can so deliberately take advantage of young women? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Horror. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. I read. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I read horror book once. It was a long time ago. <laughs> I desperately grabbed something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. God, this doesn't describe me with women. <laughs> Oh, it's me. Really? I haven't been. Ha I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For something as gentle as you. Someone. I guess you could say that. I'm gonna start all calling them by my name. <laughs> but if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's it's you. Silas's eyes darted over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. God, I sound like a friggin' penguin. Hehehe, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Silas saddles up behind <laughs> Silas and <Sorry. laughs> puts his hands on her. I'm not cute! <laughs> Silas... You write your own poems? <laughs> Matsuki! <laughs> eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why can't they all be me? Why do you care? Fine. I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. <laughs> Natsuki. Natsuki. Thank you. Chase averts his eyes. Her eyes. Her eyes. <laughs> you wouldn't <laughs> like them. Uh, not a very competent writer yet? You, I, d I understand how Silas feels. That's what he feels. This is fucking awful. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Yeah. The trust form. The truest. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Are you getting the gist of what this game is going to be? Porn? Other than... <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri? Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems! Well, we all, we sit, all in sit silently in, uh... Okay. <laughs> That's you. I have an idea, someone. I forgot. I have an idea, everyone. Everyone. Someone. Someone. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. What is this even about? Uh, um. Oh, you just read my character. That's fine. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Blood bonds. Yes, isn't that right, Silas? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still a problem. One problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I 
bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Uh -huh. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. Oh, look at how pissed they are at you. All four girls stared back at me with dejected eyes. Aww. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Silas. <laughs> you all... I, I am defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? They dress like sexy Japanese girls. That That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, wow. Right. <laughs> okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Hell yeah! One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> Sarah, you wrapped your arms around me. <laughs> Jumping up and down. Chase, do you want to enact this? <laughs> no. H hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you j really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then why? What's with her in this pose? Then that makes it official. Alright. Welcome to the Literature Club. Alright. Ah. Uh, thanks, I guess. Alright. Okay, everyone. I think that with... The I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting and a good, on a good note. <laughs> and remember tonight's assignment. <laughs> I need poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once. Silas, I look forward to seeing you. Seeing how you impress- seeing you naked. <laughs> <laughs> y yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I really feel the anxiety growing up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Silas. Since we're already here, why do you... Uh, 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 do you want to walk home together? Oh god, there's four more minutes of this. Whatever, it's fine. That's right, Sayori. <laughs> what? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! God damn it. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. That's me. Natsuki. That's also me. Yuri. That's me. And of course, me. Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? No. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow close to one of these girls. Oh, no. <gasps> Mm. All right, wait, are we gonna be writing porn? No, we're writing was... poems. A porn? No. I, just didn't... I didn't even read that. I don't I care. Because that starts with the writing of a poem tonight. All right. Is this the first big choice? It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay. Hold on, do I just... So we gotta pick some words. Oh, fuck. So she's, Yuri is like dark and depressing and deep. Okay. And she's all cutesy. And she's kind of like, she likes happy, like super happy things and also super sad things. So it Where's depends. Monica? Where's one? She's not a choice. She's not a choice? No. So it's oh. between these three. Uh, let's go with, um. I'm gonna save. Yeah, okay. Let's go with let's go with Fester. That's that's Oh yeah, she liked it. Oh yeah, Yuri loved it. Uh depression. She liked it? What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Uh <laughs> Lust? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Email. We're going with random shit here. Okay. Doki Doki. Yes! Natsuki likes it. Uh. Heartbeat? Fucking shit. Uh, 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 jumpy. <laughs> I don't like this anymore. Tragedy. Fuck! <laughs> Massacre? Oh, I just hit you accidentally. Uh, incongruent? Explode. 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 Crimson. 
looking at all the words and seeing which one I like more. Contamination. <laughs> Death. Yeah, that's what I was gonna go for. Um, uh, cage. Ooh. You're so deep, man. Intellectual. Something I am not. Something. Kawaii. <laughs> Kawaii. All right. Anyways, um, <laughs> determination. Yes. Uh, let's go with horror. Arf, arf. Yeah, Yuri. All right. Hi again, Silas. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry, baby. This might be a little strange for me, but at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the litter. <laughs> I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Late as usual, Silas. Thanks for keeping your promise, Silas. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for oh you. Oh god, you're gonna have a lot of dialogue with yourself. <laughs> Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. I don't want to switch girls because <laughs> then it gets confusing. <laughs> this is happening now. Okay. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Whoa. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga's literature! <laughs> Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, That's guy. me! Don't worry, guys! <laughs> Silas always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Oh shit, we're, we're, we're done. We finished. How dependable, and that's where we end <laughs> That's where we end it. I'm gonna save. Look at all these. Oh fuck, these oh fuck, are we gonna use all of those? No. How long does this game take? It's not that long. I swear. Okay, this is the first episode of Doki Doki. I'm so excited. I don't know how I think about I'm it. I'm so yet. excited until we get into the meat of it. I don't know. Oh, it's so much fun. Is it gonna be like one of those drama choice games? I can't Fuck say. Alright, if you like this content, if, please like and subscribe. Yeah. If you'd like to see more, also like and subscribe. Um, yeah, until next time, guys.